there was a time when the so-called Fab Four were said to be the future of a re-energised monarchy. Between them, William and Catherine, Harry and new partner Meghan Markle, brought a touch of youth and glamour to a firm that might have seemed a little weary. That was until the spectacular falling out between the brothers culminating in Harry's departure to America with his family and his excoriating memoir spare. Yet today there is another royal fab four supporting the crown. The alliance of William and Catherine, Prince and Princess of Wales, and Edward and Sophie, Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, has been largely under the radar, but to see them together on the front row at the coronation was to realise what an influential foursome they have become. And just two days later, the same quartet took the lead at a Buckingham Palace garden party, which praised volunteers up and down the country. Catherine and Sophie even matched their outfits that day in blue long-hemmed dresses. They each have a distinctive place. As King Charles' younger brother by sixteen years, Edward's role is an important bridge between the royal generations as the family embarks upon a new era. William is heir to the throne. Catherine and Sophie have established key relationships that bind the royals together. But what really links them all is years of hard work and duty. Edward's loyalty to the crown, rewarded earlier this year when he was given the Duke of Edinburgh title, following the death of his father, Prince Philip, in 2021, Edward took over many of his responsibilities, including heading the Duke of Edinburgh's award. Now, along with his new title, he also represents a figure of dependability for his nephew and future King William, who no longer has his younger brother to lean on. With the experienced support of Edward and Sophie, William and Catherine will see a smoother passage into their future destined duties as the future king and queen. Since marrying into the royal family, Sophie, like Catherine, has long since cemented her place at the centre of the monarchy, having been loved by both the late queen and Prince Philip. After losing her husband, the queen and Sophie would walk their dogs together in the grounds of Windsor Castle. The queen would often invite her to take Philip's place alongside her in the back of the car. Not only was Sophie a pillar of support to the Queen, but also Catherine during the early stages of her relationship with William as she began her journey as a royal. The first sign of the previous Fab Four fallout between Prince Harry, Prince William, Princess Catherine and Meghan Markle was when they had separate Christmas parties and seven months after the Sussex wedding. The Sussexes and now Waleses had two separate Christmas parties in December 2018. At the time, it was reported how Meghan and Prince Harry opted to stay with at the Queen's Sandringham estate, packed like sardines rather than stay with William and Catherine in their ten-bedroom home nearby. However, it wasn't until May 2019, five months later, that Harry and Meghan were reported as splitting from William and Catherine's household. At the time, speculation was rife about the Fab Four, even though they still appeared walking together to the church at Sandringham as they spent Christmas Day with the rest of the royal family. In June 2019, the Sussexes announced they would launch their own foundation, which known as Archiwell.